In World War II, malaria and many other diseases were impeding the progress of the American attacks in the Pacific. So, doctors and scientists came together to try and find a cure or way of suppressing the malaria virus. This way, the soldiers could keep fighting and give the U.S. a better chance in the war. At Statesville Penitentiary in Jolite, Illinois, 441 volunteer inmates were exposed to bites from malaria-infected mosquitoes. The experiment was highly praised due to its effectivity in finding a form of medicine for the deadly disease and continued for more than 29 years at the jail. This experiment included the first humane test of primakine, which is a medicine that is used to treat diseases like malaria and pneumocystis pneumonia. In the study, it is reported one person died of a heart attack, which the researchers claimed was not related to the malaria. The experiment itself is presented in a positive light. The prisoners who were administered the bites were volunteers. The one issue is scientists understood that people out in the street would know better than to be infected with a deadly disease. Not only this, but the prisoners were not able to tell the scientists to stop the experiment because, well, they were prisoners. Also, the scientists had no clue what kind of lasting impressions malaria would leave on the body after being cured. So, they went to the bottom of the barrel to find test subjects, in a prison, to administer a deadly disease to them knowing they didn't have a cure. In psychological terms, this experiment was unethical because of the lack of withdrawal for the participants, the lack of care for the participants' well-being, and the lack of moral ethics of the scientist who administered a deadly disease to people not knowing the lasting effects and also without a cure.